Disturbing death on the city's west side. A man trying to kill fleas and bed bugs went too far, ended up dying. News 8's Travis Robinson spoke with the landlord who says the man was getting more and more paranoid about bugs in the house. Travis? Yeah, the owner says the man was so paranoid that he started to put poison on himself in order to stop the bugs. The health department told the owner there weren't any bugs in the house. The owner of this house on 10th Street says the man living there had come to him several times with complaints about bed bugs or fleas. Now, whether they existed or not, things took a turn for the worse when he tried to get rid of them. He put some of the highly concentrated poison on his face and rubbed it in because he was afraid that uh, they were going to crawl up his nose and into his eyes. And so he put it on his face so few days ago, and he had almost like didn't really blister up, but it was real scabby on the side of his face. The man was found dead this morning after the owner says the man again used a combination of chemicals to try to get rid of the bugs he'd been seeing. He must have felt that they were back again because he filled up the uh, bathtub with water and chemicals and uh, put all of his clothes and whatever into the tub to clean it. So that and I think it was all psychological, looks like it anyway. The Marion County Health Department says it's easy to get hurt removing pests when you use chemicals, so you need to know what you're doing beforehand. From our perspective, we do get responses uh, on occasion to unfortunate incidents where there's been exposures from misuse of household chemical products. It's best to locate the bug and physically remove that bug before you try and uh, apply a bunch of pesticides. And if you're not sure, you can call the Marion County Public Health Department or, or call a professional and have them come out and get an opinion. And if you think you have pests, confirm it before starting any type of treatment. Go to miss him. He's a good guy. He, he had some issues, but he was still a good guy. Now, IMPD is still investigating this case, so as we learn more information, like what actually caused this man's death, we'll be sure to keep you updated both on air and online. I'm Travis Robinson, Wish TV News 8.